Now the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. Well, you can certainly tell it is spring when you see weather like that in the southeast. That's the collision of air masses. The warm air is trying to start to move to the north. The cool air is hanging on, especially here in the northwest. And that battle zone is where we're getting all the severe weather again. Right now it is in Texas. Here's a view of downtown boys. If not uh, just old looking over Ann Morrison Park, there are some clouds that are drifting overhead. There's some higher clouds around as well. So we may see an increase of clouds here during the evening, but it's not too bad. Wind is northwest at 12. It will still be cool at 54 degrees. It is running below average and the wind right now we look at this future cast here I want to show you through the day tomorrow the wind will slacken tonight and tomorrow will have generally light wind that's certainly good news but as we jump ahead to Thursday that's when things are going to change watch the colors increase right in here this is a big storm that is coming in with some heavy rain for Wednesday night and for the first part of Thursday and it might go much of the day Thursday and these are sustained forecasted wind and this is the possibility of giving us wind gusts to 60 miles per hour as you get towards Meridian and points east or technically it's the Ada Canyon County line. A high wind watch in effect. The National Weather Service will reassess the situation tomorrow and either issue a wind advisory, which is in effect for the Western Valley uh, for the rest of the Treasure Valley or go with a high wind warning if wind speeds will ag again be forecasted to exceed at times 58 miles per hour. That's when you start bringing tree limbs down and you can get power outages. So it's not out of the question on Thursday and this is after some very heavy rain comes blasting on through here. You go with the watches and warnings. This is the wind advisory in effect. This is till Thursday gust of 50 miles per hour with a wind advisory till Thursday evening. This is the basically Thursday afternoon and evening for the western lower valley, but this is the high wind watch that I just mentioned where we could get gusts as high as 60 miles per hour wind advisory. <coughs> excuse me for the magic valley. And then eastern sections, a flood watch still in effect in eastern portions of the state. We're getting more and more moisture coming in and some heavy rain is headed in our direction. Notice to the north here some clouds and showers. The jet stream is pushing a little further to the north, so we'll start to warm up a little bit during the day tomorrow. But again, that mild weather as it comes in, it will be accompanied by increasing clouds. And so expect the cloud cover to thicken pretty quickly. And during the afternoon, especially from Boise north and westward, a chance with some showers coming in. So we don't really get a mild sunny day coming on and there's a lot of moisture to the west as I show you here high pressure rotating around that high pressure. This is a deep uh, tropical tap of moisture that's tracking in our direction and this is really going to blast us and a lot of energy coming in will intensify a storm system and that's what's really going to kick the wind in behind this storm as it moves in during the day Thursday. So tomorrow tomorrow lots of clouds mostly the shower staying to the north but we could get a few in the Treasure Valley in the afternoon tomorrow night heavy rain you may wake up in the middle of the night with some gusty wind and rain blasting on through at 2:30 in the morning. We get a tiny break, but at nine o'clock more heavy rain coming on through and watch it just stick around here through the day. 430 still raining. Snow levels will come crashing back down after they rise tomorrow and we could see some significant precipitation before drying out during the day on Friday will dry out, but it's still going to be windy on Friday as well. When you take a look at rainfall accumulations, hopefully this map will load here. We can actually show you how much rain is expected to fall. We're we're talking in some places more than an inch of precipitation in the higher elevations and even in the Treasure Valley, more than an inch of moisture could fall. I should say more than a half inch of moisture could fall in the Treasure Valley. Quick check at that Treasure Valley forecast coming up for tomorrow. Not too bad, although there's a chance of some showers in the afternoon. It will get a little milder with a high near 60. My on your side extended forecast really chilly on Thursday. Most of the day Thursday it will be windy, especially in the afternoon with temperatures only in the 40s all day long on Thursday because of the heavy rain coming in a Burr. better Saturday yeah. ahead. Thursday looks rough. I'll keep you updated on it. Okay, thanks, Scott. Thanks, Scott. President